Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is John Frederick Harrison, the king of Twitter Photoshop. Why did you give me that? Why didn't you give myself that? I didn't give myself, actually, people gave me because I've worked with many people and they're like, damn, how did you do that? Yeah, it's crazy. How did you take this guy out of this picture? That's crazy. So they said, You are the king of Photoshop. I'm like, wow, that's a good name. Thank you. And I, yeah, I'm the king of Photoshop. So, so let's dive into this story because I've talked too much and I don't want to talk too much. So let's just dive in. How did I remove this girl from this picture? That is a magic trick. Everyone has been wanting to learn. Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. And in this episode, I'm going to show you how you can Photoshop people, remove people easily from your videos. Now, let's go. So, first of all, we have this picture of this beautiful lady and this handsome guy. Yeah, the handsome. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this girl out of this picture because yeah the guy doesn't want her to kind of he wants to be alone and the girl was like yeah let's take a picture so he don't want this girl in this picture so he has a dme on twitter and like yo harrison i want you to take this guy out so yeah that's what i'm gonna do actually i'm just gonna remove her picture from this video from with this video i'm gonna remove her picture from his picture so first off what we're gonna do is we are gonna import the pictures we'll be editing and next we are going to next we're gonna add uh a layer a new layer because we want to draw uh, our art line i'll call it outline we won't have to make an outline on this shirt because we have to trace out where his shirt is going to be so we're going to make an outline by that is by creating a layer and then we're going to draw on that and from there we can add our paint so let's just draw this real quick So when we're done, we're going to open another layer and then we're going to paint that layer with the color we're going to get with the drop icon to uh, from his shirt. We're going to use that drop icon to and just touch his shirt and then we're going to get the effect, the color rather we need and we're going to paint around the, just the place we want, just around the line art we've made. You can give these layers any name you like, any name you choose, because, well, why not? It's your project, so just give it any name. I'm just gonna give you my name, I will just, just don't pay attention. You can pay attention to the names if you want, but it doesn't matter. Just any name you like to give it, just give it. So. So next, we have to use the stamp tool. Uh, you can check along the icon, you see the stamp tool, or you can just press S on your keypad and you get the stamp tool. Now we're gonna use the stamp tool to just get uh, materials from the environment, like the sand, and just stamp it around the picture where we want to take the girl. You can see underneath the arm, we can take it out, take her out using the stamp tool, but just stamping and then click and click and click and click and then you're just editing everything. Take your time. You can just take your time. You don't, there's no mistake here because you can also duplicate that if you wish, if you wish, if you want to. So I have this picture I downloaded from the internet and I'm going to put it here and they just have to curve around it Just have to curve around it and then fix the jaw where it is supposed to be Just cap around the ears and so 
And we're going to place that in the right position. Just take your time to place that in the position like. Then we'll clean. Using the max or your that tool. Whatsoever tool you like, just clean. And again, stamp all over the place so we can get materials going and going and going. Now for the next phase, we have to import the picture of our gene and we're just gonna work around that. We're gonna use the pencil tool because I love pencil tool. It gives me more details and freedom. So I'm just gonna carve around that with the pencil tool. And then we're gonna place it because we need the gene of this layer because the girl just covered up the guy's gene. Come on, girl. Why the cover up the gene?
so yeah what i did with the gym is i messed uh messed up well so next we're going to upload at three and then we're going to mess with the colors just the saturation color mixer it doesn't matter there's no there's no steps in this you just have to mess with it and get it right so feel free to create bro feel free to create so just mess around with the trees the colors and everything just mess around with it and boom you get yourself a nice tree sitting there Next, we need a neck. We need a neck for a guy. So, what do we do? We have to upload a picture for the neck and just drop it down there. Good. And then we have to use the pen tool, lasso tool, magic lasso tool, magnetic lasso tool, whatever to you think can remove the neck. Just make sure it's clinging and just take out the neck. Take out the neck and replace it with the guy's neck and try to fix it with a, your artistic mind and you get it. You get it. Make some color adjustment to the neck. Give it ambience, increase, increase, decrease, brightness, whatever. Do your time. Take your time, reduce the brightness. So, what next? It is all to you. Just make sure it is so together. Uh mind you, I, I took I took a week to make this tutorial, so pardon me for not going into details because I am really exhausted so So this next part is a little bit confusing. So I'm going to put it through, put it through. First, we select the shirt because we want to add this material of the shirt to our drawing. Initially, our t-shirt you've seen was just a normal paint. But now we want to add texture to this paint to make it look like a real shirt. So first, we're going to do is to select. We're going to select the shirt using the pen tool. To select it Perfect. now when we pay, place it above the paint and shed we are going to use alt we are going to select alt and clip with our mouse clip this layer that is when we select the layer of this material of the shirt we're going to select a layer of the shirt click alt and then use our mouse to clip it to the solid pretty paint we use from our um, line art to illustrate how the shirt will look so we're just going to paint it, paint it there and then next we're going to use wrap we're going to use wrap to edit and just bend the shirt just make it look uh fit for this picture just fix it around that colored uh part just to make it look real and more natural so that's the essence of this just to make it look natural so we are also going to clean and edit there's no manual there's no process to this you just have to just play around it till you get what you want
Next, that black thing on his neck looks like a bag, so we just have to give him a bag. Also, we adjust his jeans. Because of course, yeah, jeans. What was the fine guy with his jeans? So we have to fix that. After that, we add a little shadow to the jean and to the longer wood, and also we just add shadows everywhere just to make it look kind of real. After making it real, subscribe to this channel, turn on my post notification because I'm be posting every time, and yeah, you don't want to miss out because my posts are so good. I, I did like a pro because I'm a pro already. You have so many works with people, and yeah, they like my work. I like my watch. I'm proud to push this content out here. I want you to subscribe to this channel and turn on your post notification. Thank you. Peace out. Sorry, not peace out. When you save that, you post this content and see how beautiful it's gonna be. I'm gonna post, I'm gonna leave this picture in the description below, link it to my Twitter so you can get this picture and you can also edit it. So I'm going to post the unedited one and the edited one so you can see what I did and then use this tutorial and learn how to do it. Subscribe to this channel, don't miss out. And so you miss out my content, turn on my post notification, people, so you won't miss out my content. Thank you.